assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so the topic we will discuss today it is the sources and uses of proteins so in our previous lesson we have already learned that what are mainly proteins proteins are the macro molecules as these macro molecules just helps us a lot and mainly all these proteins are made up of the amino acids so that's why these amino acids are known as the building blocks of the proteins and we have learned there are 20 amino acids from which the 10 are essential amino acids and the other 10 are non-essential amino acids and the simple difference between these two amino acids that cannot be prepared our by body and these can be prepared by our body and these 20 amino acids just combine in a different way and they are making up the proteins now let's have some sources of the proteins we have two types of sources from the protein the number one we have the plant source and the second one we have the animal source so when we have the plant source for the proteins here we have the beans we have the grams we have the lentils we have the peas and the soya beans all these are the sources of the proteins that we gain from the plants so as all these are the products of the plants on the other hand when we have a look on the animal sources of the proteins here we have the eggs we have paneer milk meat and fish all these are the sources of the proteins that we take it from the animal source as eggs and produced by the hen or the paneer is made up of milk that we gain from the animals milk itself is a source of proteins meat we gain from the animals and the fish itself is a main source of proteins so this is the simple sources of the proteins we have as we have already learned mainly proteins make up almost 50 percent of the dry weight of the animals and each protein has its own source and carries out the specific function in our body so the protein as meat meat may be of three types mutton chicken fish and eggs so they are used as a food by the human beings as they are essential for the formation of the protoplasm protoplasm this that is known as the unit of the cell so this is a simple source of the proteins we have two types animal as well as the plant source then we have the uses of the proteins now, mainly all the enzymes are known as the proteins that are produced by the living cells so as now what are the enzymes all the enzymes are basically worked as a catalyst now the catalyst are the substances that increase the rate of the reaction it increase the rate of reaction and by increasing the rate of reaction now the reaction will take place faster as compared to the reaction that is without the use of the catalyst so all the enzymes that are working in our body are all the proteins in nature many enzymes that are, they are also used as drugs so they are also as proteins hides are proteins and they are used to make the leather by the tank so the leather is also produced by the use of the proteins on the other hand the proteins are also found in the bones of the living organisms and when bones are heated they just give a jelly like material which is known as the gelatin now this gelatin can be used in the bakery items products for the production of the different things so this is also known as the protein on the other hand the leather that is produced by the tanning it is also used for the making of the shoes it is used for the making of the jackets it is also used in the making of the sports items so this is the use of the proteins on the other hand plants that can also synthesize the proteins 
such as the pulses and beans so they are the sources of the proteins now these pulses and beans are used as the food source in turn it provides the proteins to the human beings or the human body and it is helpful in the strengthening muscles and the growth of the muscles in the human beings so this was a simple use of the different proteins on the other hand or behind that if we have a look on the enzyme function of the proteins so the enzyme has extraordinary efficiencies and they can also control the bleeding and also can treat for cancer so this is also the big source of or big use of the proteins in our daily life after that proteins they can control the reactions in the living organisms and they form bones and muscles they also regulate the cell processes all the cell functions because they are enzymes in nature so that's why they control the processes in the cell they helps us to fight the diseases they also transport material in and out of the cells this is also the function of the proteins along with we have different types of proteins some are known as the structural proteins they make up the keratin and the collagen in the body they are found in the bones and basically keratin is helpful in the growth of the hairs and nails on the other hand it is also in the enzymatic nature work as lactase for the digestion of the lactose in our body on the other hand it also produces hormones that is insulin it is also protein in nature the last one it transport the molecules for example we have hemoglobin it can transport the hemoglobin in our body so this was the simple sources and the uses of the proteins that how it is helpful for our body and for the different purposes so i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and i will get back to you guys soon for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day and the next topic we will discuss it is a third macromolecule which is known as the lipids or it is also known as the fat so have a good day and a laugh is